Hi, and welcome to this short screencast demonstrating the clustering feature in Glassfish Open Source Edition 3.1 Milestone 1. This is a bleeding edge version of ongoing work. So if you're looking for stable and feature complete clustering, please consider using Glassfish 2.1.1. We'll be using two different machines, uh, and I've already unzipped the 3.1 Milestone 1 archive on both. Uh, Glassfish 3.0 had no clustering capabilities built in and thus mostly was a single instance app server. Here we have a DAS, a domain admin server, and a cluster with three instances, IN1, IN2, and IN3. Uh, first one is on node one, and the two others are on node two. So here we are. This is the machine that hosts the DAS. It's called ludo.france, and this other one is the machine that will have the other two instances. So the first thing I will do is go to the Glassfish install, and start the domain. So this is starting the domain admin server to which I'll be talking to when uh, deploying applications, for example. So once the DAS has started, I can now asadmin create a cluster, which I will call C1. The next thing I want to do is actually create an instance. So create local instance dash instance dash dash cluster one will be part of it and then there's a whole bunch of things that I'm copy pasting here saying this is where uh, it will listen port 18080 and the name is instance one similarly I will go into the glassfish directory on this other physical machine and uh, create two new instances this time I will need to provide the DAS location which is on this machine called Ludo or listening on port 4848 and create two local instances which are both part of cluster one listening on port 18080 on this second machine this is instance two and once this is created I will have another one similarly uh, talking to the same DAS creating a new instance as part of cluster one called instance three I and three and listening this time to port 38080 So now uh, what I can do is uh, deploy an application to the DAS and specifically to cluster C1. And this is a very basic hello world war. And I can make sure this is actually uh, available. And when I now start the instances on the second machine, instance two and instance three, these actually go talk to the DAS, synchronize, and actually do the deploy at that time. And this is where I can then go to uh, those two other instances in the same cluster and execute the same application. So this was instance two, this is now instance three on port 38080. So the next thing I'd like to do here is uh, browse using the RESTful uh, API uh, the structure and manage the different nodes. So this time I'm talking to uh, the node on uh, the instance on server one, which is called instance one. And I can see the various uh, attributes there. Now, if I go to a different port, so 4848, this is the DAS. The DAS knows all about the cluster. So it knows about the server itself, but also the three instances. But it, so I can actually click on clusters, cluster, and see my C1 cluster. I can then click on application ref and see a reference to that hello world application we've just deployed to the cluster. The other thing I can do here is list instances and see that I have three of them on two physical machines, all of them um, up and running. I can then create a JVC connection pool target the cluster one and call it sample underscore JDBC underscore pool. And this has been created on instance one, two, and three. And if I keep using that RESTful web interface to browse um, the configuration of the different instances, I can actually go to the JBC connection pool, um, scroll down, and find my sample JDBC pool. 
and look for the details of that pool that was just created there. And then to close uh, this demo, I can AS admin and stop um, my first instance, which is called uh, IN1. That's pretty quick. And um, I can also, from this machine, do a stop instance, instance 2, IN2. And IN2 is remote. So we have this capability. So that's it for this demo. This is still a very early days, but we certainly look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching.